Yes, scholars, welcome back to today's video. Thank you for tuning in and consider subscribing if this is the sort of thing you're into. Um, today is Boxing Day 2020 and I would just like to say Merry Christmas to you all and uh, we can only hope for a better new year, can't we? This year has been terrible, so here's to 2021. Hopefully it will be a better one for all of us. So today, as you'll have seen from the uh, title of the video, and no doubt the thumbnail, today we are installing some nice eye LED fog lights. So what I'm going to do first of all is show you what you're going to need. Not a lot really. Uh, then I'll take you outside uh, to where the car is and I will show you what we're going to do. So just before we head outside I'm just going to show you exactly what we've got. Uh, it's all well packaged, well protected in there with this uh, foam stuff. But these are OEM fitment push in same connectors as uh, you get on the standard and uh, there's the LED bulb and what you're going to need is a Torx bit not that it will focus but a Torx bit and it's a T25 okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the uh, fog lights on now and I'll show you what the OEM yellowy kind of uh, bulb looks like uh, and then we'll be able to swap it over and I'll show you what it looks like with the LED it's obviously going to be much brighter and it's going to be much more crisp looking beam of light and it should match the uh, LED uh, side lights and obviously the Xenon headlights so I'll just put this down and uh, show you what we're working with So in there you got your, uh, get your Torx bit and there's a little Torx bolt in there, take that out first. Put it down somewhere safe, you ain't going to lose it. Surround out and then you've got two more bolts inside. Well, usually you do, I've only got one, but same T25. And then obviously your push push connector, just put a tab there, push that down, we fog that out. So then we've got the uh, the bulb to take out and these just literally twist twist out like that. And to H11 standard. So let's open this up, get one out and install him. So this just, like I said, this just goes back in exactly the same. Get the right angle. There it is. Twist it like that. And then inside there, there's a little tab. And on this connector there's also a little tab and that's to uh, make sure you put it the right way okay there we go wrap him back in do your bolt back up and then we'll turn it back on and have a look to see how different it is Okay, let's turn him on. Okay, so there's the uh, the new LED one, and there's the standard. I'll uh, 
I'll just flip the camera around now and see if I can show you it a bit better. To be fair, doesn't look all that different, but uh, I think that's just because we're in the light. So um, I'll get a shot of it tonight before we upload, and I'll insert that after this. Yes, guys, I've just come down to the garden now as it's dark, so put the fogs on, show you what they're like, and then we can get back to the video. A bit brighter than headlights, I think. Oh, that's only uh, side lights and fog lights, that is, as well. That's not the, um, the Xenon headlights. Much, much brighter than uh, standard. The standard ones never lit up like that. Also, guys, I just wanted to mention, uh, you've seen in the last video that I've replaced that with DST instead of the Zonsport. I posted it up on Instagram and someone sent me a message saying, we do these in orange, which is what I wanted in the first place instead of that. But I'm going to replace that with that. And uh, that's just another little change that I've made. Now, if anybody wants any of these, if you contact me, uh, direct message me on Instagram I'll leave my uh, tag down in the description as I normally do um, let me know because the guy who's making these is offering a deal out so get at me if you want some of these original Zunsport grills put in black and orange instead of uh, the black and white there you go guys that's that swapped over uh, in the light it doesn't look the greatest of orange but it does match uh, the paint quite well um, I think that looks a bit better doesn't it so yeah get at me if you want one so that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching and uh look out for the next video because one of the next ones that i post is going to be uh me and my friend doing 0 to 60 times in the st uh and he he's got this little device called a draggy now i don't know if anyone has ever heard of it or knows how they work and whatever but it's a bit of kit that just measures your 0 to 60 times from standstill so uh, he's done one on his car um, and I think he actually managed to get it a bit quicker than a uh, standard time. Now his car's running uh, just over 300 brake in his Vauxhall course of VXR. Um, I'll link his channel in the description below so go check that video, that was pretty cool. And uh, we're basically going to do the same in the, uh, in the Focus to see if I can get close to my time which who knows, you know, these modifications are supposed to help and make the difference and that. So let's see if the 0 to 60 time is any different. But uh, that'll be the next one. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.